welcome back to my rusty Rule the Waves playthrough. So, in the last stream, we did okay in a night battle with Germany until the very last second where their dying light cruiser torpedoed our armored cruiser, and that meant that they won a narrow victory in that battle. But I have faith in the remaining strength of our fleet. So you can see, we outnumber them quite a bit. Even still, we have five armored cruisers to their three. More light cruisers, way more destroyers. Uh, so I'm going to shift the most of the Pacific fleet to the Atlantic. We're going to leave one battleship on the west coast and one battleship on the east coast. And of the remaining battleships, and one of our armored cruisers. Two of our armored cruisers. Well, we'll leave one armored cruiser on the East Coast, I guess. Uh, we need more armored cruisers. Okay, and then a whole bunch of destroyers. We'll take some. Oh, these are under repairs, so we can't take them. And these are only in fair condition because they're still working up, but we'll take them anyway. And we will send them all to Northern Europe and blockade Germany. It's just if, yeah, we, we also lost the destroyer there. Um, all right. So, let's design a better armored cruiser. Uh, let me see if I can make this big for everyone. Uh, display capture. We'll call it zoom display. And we will zoom it in quite a bit. See how this works. All right, so that's almost fully zoomed. So hopefully that's better for everybody. So. Armored cruiser. All right, I'm 
let's see. So what was... So I'm going to look up a... Oh, right, I'm sharing the whole, whole display, so <laughs> you got a bunch of my spam for a second there. Um, what was... So, Blue Crow was the last of the armored cruisers. I'm just looking at relative displacements. Um, 25 knots with 12 8 inch guns in the, the usual German Hexel arrangement, I think. Uh, what was the. Uh, there was a Russian cruiser, I'm trying to remember the name of. Which was widely considered the best armored cruiser of all time. Um, I think it was. Uh, well, let's look at this. Russians built these Norwood cruisers. Fifteen thousand tons. Only 21 knots, 4, 10, and 8, 8 inch. And Japanese armored cruisers. Huh, they were all under 10,000 ton. I thought that was like a 15,000 tonner. Um, Oh, because they later went back and called these things battle cruisers, even though they weren't. Yeah, why are they listed as battle cruisers? That's uh, Wikipedia. Why you do this? But yes, this is this is the armor cruiser I'm thinking of. Yeah, and it's about fifteen thousand tons. It's a two. Oh, I guess they listed it as battle cruisers because it had. Because it, it had um, battleship class main batteries. All right. Well, right. So let's see what we can reasonably do on. So here's what we're going to do we're going to start with a battleship. Except, I don't actually like the. I guess we'll stick with this. And it will have a proportionally smaller bridge than it should for its size, but that's fine. Um, We'll stick with 25 knots. I think I was only 23 knots on the Brooklyn's. Uh, can we get away with this? Let's find out. Um, so. still have a bunch of weight remaining. Ooh, we can even have an 8-inch belt.
It's amazing what you can do if you just put enough tonnage on things. This is going to be a remarkably fearsome cruiser killer. Because it's going to be essentially invulnerable to cruiser fire. Um, oh, that's interesting. The price goes down as the tonnage goes up. Oh, because the months taken went up by one. Huh. Yeah, there, there are all sorts of weird... Uh, like eddies in the calculations in this thing. It's sort of like Spring Sharp. Ooh, can I get away with putting these in turrets? Probably not. Oh, I can. Excellent. Not that it really matters, but so we'll assume there is a turret here, a turret here, a turret here, and a turret here. can almost get 26 knots out of it, but I think it's not really worth trying to get 26 knots out of it. I'm sort of wondering if we can get a... we can get a battleship's belt out of it. That's interesting. So this is a very German design. <laughs> it wants to make it a battle cruiser <laughs> if I use 11 inch guns. We're overweight though. Badger Master, this is an armored cruiser. So actually a 10 inch quality zero is probably about, 10 inch quality one would be the same as an 11 inch quality minus one. Tenant quality zero is only slightly worse. All right, so this is this is an armored cruiser that can very definitely fight in the line of battle. All right, we're at twenty-four months, and probably would be able to take on most battle cruisers the day. We'll up the deck armor a little bit. So ba basically, this is the same armor scheme as my first battleship. Uh, its secondary battery is stronger, its primary battery is weaker, and it's way faster than that first battleship. So... Let's go with this. In memory of the sunken armored cruiser that we just lost. And I wish we could add torpedo defense. We can't yet. Design is not legal. We haven't researched TPS one. All right. That all seems fine to me. So we'll use up a little bit of the remaining weight. I act. Yeah, sorry. Uh, it turns out that we're at war with Germany. All right. 
build dialog. So, for reference, Brooklyn. Yeah, so this costs 20% more, but is a far more capable ship. Sorry for the beep. My headphones are on the fritz. Alright, so let's lay one down. And then immediately halt it because we don't have enough money. <laughs> Great. All right. So, let's go ahead. Oh, I forgot about this. This is why I was supposed to build AMCs. Oops. That's a bunch of six inch guns. All right, I basically don't care. Can we do anything faster than four months? No, we're just lowering the cost. I'm literally only using this as a minesweeper. And for Coastal Patrol, so... Uh, pretty sure even earlier specimen spiff. Um, let's... Yeah, so we're still in 1902 and we haven't even researched anything but protected cruisers for light cruisers. Um, so yeah, we're just coming up on... So for example, my Olympia class is... Well, let's, anyway, let me save this AMC and start a bunch building. At least they're cheap. We can have 20 knots. No, it's not a destroyer. Oh, yes, we wanted an MS, actually. That's what I was trying to build anyway. That's better. 
why was I choosing an AMC anyway? AMCs are Raiders. All right. And I don't care enough to actually design it further, so. I guess we can make it cheaper. That's fine. So we're going to squeeze a little more speed out of it, because why not? I guess we're just going to, oh, we can do this. Can make it long range and make it colonial service. Nice and roomy. Um, 22 knots, not bad. All right, so we'll well, do I want to... Yeah, I'm not going to notice that difference in price. Oh, but they'll take six months. All right. And we've got to halt something else, too. Yeah, so the Chester was the first U.S. scout cruiser. Um, so you were asking about... Uh, right, so here's my scout cruiser, which is lighter than Chester, is the same speed, I think? No, actually we're not faster. Although probably practically it will be the same. A couple torpedo tubes and a bunch of four inch guns. And Chester had two, f two five inchers and six three inchers. And some two inchers. Uh, so yeah, broadly comparable. Although probably her belt is. Oh no, okay. Yeah, so we, all, we also have a half inch more belt. So yeah, broadly comparable ships. Um, the difference being that uh, she has a mixed battery and we just have a bunch of four inch guns. I I I bet we we take her in a fight. Um, although we have less reserve flotation capacity because we have lower tonnage. Um, anyway. Yeah, Mikasa's right era, or the actual USS Olympia, or any of the rest of the Great White Fleet. All right, this means that I need to put a bunch of destroyers on four. Coastal Patrol. All right. Coastal 
Crystal Raid. All right. Well, let's do this. All right, so now I have to change my screens. And now you can see the whole thing again. Uh, so my understanding of World of Warships is that it's sort of like it to this is stockable to RO. <laughs> so, eh. Or actually even worse, because at least Doc Kerbal has real physics. Oh, really? We don't actually get anything useful? What is this division? Oh, that's probably where the actual good stuff is. <laughs> yep, that's where we have an armored cruiser and a bunch of other stuff, but we can only directly control this light cruiser division. <laughs> Great. What's our objective? Do we literally not have any objectives? I thought we were supposed to like... Oh no, it may just be a coastal raid where we just hunt around for stuff to sink um, rather than actually having a thing we have to do. And at least it's daytime. Hopefully our gunnery is better than their gunnery. I trust it is. A contact. Right inside to transport. Begin working up to flank speed, 25 knots. get our sighting ranges up. Second contact. Close in shore. All right, so let's see if we can find anything to blow up real good. And now it's nighttime. Great. Four nineteen PM. Oh, because it's January twelfth in the high latitudes. Alright, well this is gonna be a pretty fruit fruitless raid. Let's see if we blunder into anything. More sightings. So somewhere out over here, maybe some actual prey. All right. We've 
sighted another unknown ship. Oh, you're moving too fast to be a transport, I think. Yes, you are. Oh, boy. Let's bring everything back on the support force. Yeah, if that's actually an armored cruiser division, I'm kind of screwed. Yeah, sorry about the colors being weird, guys. My vision is crap, so I can't have the water bright blue or it hurts my eyes. So this is slightly darker than the bright blue water. Although, maybe we can get away with bright blue water. Let's see. Preferences, watercolor. Uh, oh, that's not terrible. Something super weird about my headphones right now. Oh, so, yeah. All right, so it's a night action. Let's take them back on the rest of our cruiser division. Yeah, so we've got, do we have crap for cruisers? I think we do. I think these are probably Olympia class. Uh, yep. So basically, the computer gave me the crap ships and the AI controlled the AI, the, the good ships. Um, let's see how this, let's see if I can fight these well enough for it to matter. And I'm going to steer into the presumed torpedoes. Because, who oh boy, that looked like destroyers dropping fishes. Is our sight range anyway? Oh, they're about to go out of sight. That's probably a light cruiser. If it were actually an armored cruiser, it would have probably tried to finish the fight. All right, at least now we're out of torpedo range because torpedoes have basically no range. <laughs> so I don't have to worry about torpedoes. give chase. What are we doing? We're doing 25 knots. They're doing 25 knots. Well, give or take. Did it start raining or something? Light rain. <laughs> yeah. Our sighting range is basically nothing at this point. It would be nice if the rest of the task force would follow us, but... All right, the squall ended. Oh 
Oh, that Minesweeper is about to get pasted. Assuming it's actually Minesweeper and not yet another destroyer. We straddled, at least, but we're still not getting any hits. Oh, no, we actually, we did sink her. Okay. All right, we'll continue to chase the destroyers and see if we can get any hits in. I guess, I guess it didn't say anything about hits because <laughs> can't even see that we're getting hits. slow to 24 knots such that Denver can catch up. And come left a little bit. Now we're getting some hits. But it looks like they'll reach the safety of the harbor before we can actually do any real damage. at least because the rest of our squad was stupid. Oh, they're coming about. Excellent. Let's just check torpedo ranges again. disappeared. That was weird. I guess they all are considered docked now. Alright, so let's retire to the company of that cruiser division. Watch it run aground. <laughs> yeah, at least something a little bit to be desired in this game. Well, we've sighted an unknown ship. Where is the question?
Ah, right there. Excellent. Oh, did we suffer an engineering casualty? Yes, we did. Engines are giving trouble because we were at high speed for so long. All right, so, bems the brakes. Hopefully we don't need to run it down too quickly. Oh good, it's moving quite slowly. Let's come back down to cruise and give the engines a break. It's a transport. Easy pickings. Okay, it's as good as dead, I'm sure. Yep. It's clearly in a sinking way because if not, we'd still be firing. Anything else? Probably not. It's almost 7 a.m. It's now twilight, so we'll have a nice big sighting radius. And the thing ends, regardless. All right, so one merchant escaped, but, and one light cruiser had light damage, but everything else is undamaged. We sank a minesweeper, two auxiliaries, damaged a destroyer, but the rest of the destroyers and the light cruiser got away. Okay, we don't have the Panama Canal yet, so everything has to go around Cape Horn. We can now unpause one of these things, I guess. No, we still can't really afford to. Dang. All right, so there's not really much to do then.
Okay, we're still blockading Germany. Now we can unpause one of these. <laughs> so much for that. <laughs> Basically, she was too far away from any kind of base, and we had we had all of Germany blockaded, so nothing else to do. So Gazelle will also scuttle at some point, I'm sure. All right. Yes, I totally am going to take that battle. Let us see what forces we have. A light cruiser division and an armored cruiser division. And are the battleships a support force? No. The battleship is not found. All right, so what kind of ship is Columbia? It's a, it's the crappier cruiser. I think I should have just spent the money and made all Chicago's. Better to have better ships than always have the AI give me the bad ships. Uh, so cruiser action implies that one of these is about to s sight the enemy. So let's run. What is that? Oh, there's a minefield. Okay. run time forward and see what happens because I don't have any control. Unknown ship sighted. And that unknown ship is over there. So that comes up to 25 knots. This comes up to 23 knots. And let's everybody chase down that ship. All right, now I assume that means that that's on the border of sight. Yes. Which means they don't know our armored cruiser is here yet. Which means we immediately want to come about and bring them on to us such that hopefully uh, Pittsburgh can get in range. All right, let's do this. thinks it's a CA. I doubt it's actually a CA. Because we sank their... C well, they scuttled. Yeah, it's a light cruiser. Alright. It is a light cruiser of Bremen class. There we are. 25. So almost identical to to our Olympia, <laughs> as it happens. 25 knots, same displacement. 12 four-inch guns. Much three-inch guns. Two and a half-inch belt. Yep, pretty much the same ship. So it's just going to come down to R and Jesus and how well I can 
on these ships. And I wish I wish Pittsburgh could pour on a little more coal. What's our firing radius? Almost in main gun range. And almost in main gun range for Pittsburgh. Probably. With a 10 inch. No, not close. Dang. Okay. Well. Let's see. Alright, so we open fire on each other. Meanwhile, that armored cruiser is still bearing down. It saw it. I presume that's what happened. So let's hope that uh, uh, they get some sort of engineering casualty and slow down so Pittsburgh can make it. We still at twenty two knots. This is going to be exceptionally inconclusive. Unless they do something extraordinarily stupid like that. Which is to cl try to... <laughs> that's Eventually Pittsburgh is, may actually get in range. That would be great. So now, unless we're lucky and blunder each, into each other in the dark, it will be an entirely inclusive action. Yeah, so... I assume my flag is actually in Pittsburgh, which means that Columbia <laughs> misunderstood what I told them to do and is now driving south. All right, we got a hit from a four inch gun. Useless.
However, we are gaining. Because she slowed to 20 knots. We're still at 25 knots, and Pittsburgh is somehow managing to keep up at 23 knots. Hey, Pap. So let's unmask, cross the stern T, and see if we can get any hits whatsoever. Yes, we got some serious hits. Uh, and they got one in return. That's getting perilously close to torpedoes, so let's come back around. All right, so we have her. That's getting a little close to torpedoes. We're staying well off the broadsides, given last time. Ooh, we hit her with a 10-inch gun. That should do some damage. 
Unless it was just a pass-through hit, because it basically has no armor, so it probably was just a pass-through. Might not even be enough to... It wouldn't be enough to trip the bursting charge. Signals misunderstood again. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, now it fixed. Okay. All right. So let's control this. Uh, Columbia lost a turret. All right, we'll come back around. Oh no, we want to come left a little bit, for sure. It really gives you a sense of how much punishment these things can take. Also how inaccurate the fire is. That we're just not getting that many hits. All right, and let's come down to 20 knots and not overstress the boilers too much. Poor Pittsburgh is, yeah, it's already down to 19 knots because it's been running too hard. is going to have to do another dog leg to keep out of torpedo range. Secondary battery hit. Oh boy. <laughs> Whoops, wrong thing. That's getting perilously close to torpedoes. Oh God. <laughs> Please don't torpedo me. Whew. Made it. Now at least both of these can come down to cruising speed. That's much more manageable.
All right. Victory. A major victory. Light damage to our light cruiser for the sinking of their light cruiser. Let's look at the log. All right. So they hit Columbia. Turret jammed. And then they just proceed to take. Oh, yeah, they get a lot of. Yeah, a lot of hits. All right. An excellent victory. Another crystal raid. Interesting. I assume our objectives are to sink two enemy ships again. So we have an armored cruiser and two light cruisers. And already, yeah, neither a Chicago class. Already, we sighted a ship. So that will work up to flank in both cases. and come about towards the contact. Let's see what happens. It's another unknown ship over there. Well, we'll send one towards each and see which is the one that actually matters. go to independent line ahead that's transport the other thing is. Oh, it's a bunch of ships. All right, let's plot an intercept, which should be about there, probably. Conveniently, they're all sailing in the same way.
And of course, it's Twilight again. Somebody open fire. Yep. So at least our light cruisers are doing their job now that they're under AI control. I did set them independent, thankfully, rather than leaving them on screen duty. So hopefully they will actually sink that merchant ship before they come rejoin the flag. Oh yes, I think they will. The real question. <laughs> okay, that works. Not gonna worry about that ship anymore. Let's see what we can do about this cruiser if we can catch her before I'm done. I assume she's running to make port. I'm going to pull those back into range, assuming the AI listens. So somewhere around here is a destroyer. Yeah, we'll pick up survivors, sure. We don't really need more than what we've got to chase down this cruiser. More signals misunderstood. I wonder what they're going to do now. Ah, there's there's another light cruiser. Interesting. Oh, it's probably the destroyer, though. It's probably just the destroyer that we've misidentified. Yep. if we get any hits in before they make it to port. Yeah, they're definitely taking a least time <laughs> course to Empton. All right, we got one hit. Now we're getting more hits, but from the seven inch guns, not from the 10 inch guns. But as I said last time, 10 inch guns probably will just pass through. Oh, we did some serious damage. All right, 
we're going to let that destroyer escape and focus on the light cruiser. Come back down to cruising speed. Oh, no, you don't. I'm not sure what the point of training for gunnery and torpedo action is when we always get night actions. <laughs> and they don't fire torpedoes. <laughs> I guess we should have trained for night fighting, because we seem to always get night battles. And here comes our cruiser force, right in time to not be of help. send them away actually so that they don't interfere. More than one ship firing the same target is just confusing. Oh no you don't. Don't turn that way. Pretty sure you're sinking now. Heavy damage and on fire. So I guess you're not sinking quite yet, but you're about to. down to five knots. One of the cooler things is the length of the arrows change. That's a bunch of hits. cute little smoke circles that aren't even circles. They're literally just octagons. No, they're seven guns. 
interesting, I think. Maybe they're octagons. Hard to tell. That's coming quite closely. All right, at some point, this darn thing should sink. Oh, it's already sinking. It's just... Yeah. Unknown ship sighted. I think. Yes. There's an unknown ship over there. See if we can find anything. says sites an unknown ship, but where? I don't see one. All I see is the nymph class. coastal battery around here somewhere. Ah, up there. That's what's going on. It's a 4-inch coastal battery. Let's not mess around with the coastal battery. I mean, we could bombard it, but I'm not going to bother. We sank our two ships. Is that the land target again? Probably. Yeah. Hey, we found something. Oh, 
Oh, you're you're turning fast. Interesting. Are you a destroyer or are you actually like cruiser? Let's find out. You're a destroyer, like I thought. Oh god, torpedoes. Oh no, they turned away before they hit torpedo range, so that can't be a torpedo. Where are my light cruisers when I need them? They're way the heck out there. Durr. Oh, that's a solid hit. <laughs> a single 10 inch shell basically stopped it on its tracks. All right. So we sank another ship because that destroyer is not getting out of harm's way. Oh, there's another one. Intriguing. Didn't even notice. Still doing 20 knots. 20 plus knots. Twenty nine uh, capable of 29 knots. are you? Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Some people are coming out to play. Where's my screen? Way the heck over here. They're supposed to be supporting, but they're... <sighs> Way the heck over there. All right. Very well. Uh, 
Oh, that looks like a light cruiser and company of some destroyers, if not heavier fish. So maybe we should run away, but I kind of want to see what they are. All right, so it is just some destroyers and a cruiser. That's not bad. So let's continue to deal with this destroyer, because I don't think I want to take on that much with a single armored cruiser. Shame to let them get away, but I feel like discretion is the better part of valor because I don't have my screen with me. Apparently it's missed now. All right. We've almost sank this destroyer at least. And there comes the other destroyers to its rescue. Is it going to escape? Maybe. It's down to 15 knots. where our, our cruisers are going the wrong way. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, at least I only have to worry about one ship then. All right, she's on fire. Hit her again. Sinking. All right, now we can deal with the other destroyer. Slowing to a stop in a sinking way. And this is why I build armored cruisers that are a quarter again as heavy as the, <laughs> the standard German armored cruiser, because one of them can take on all these things. And they're not that much more expensive, which was actually sort of the Japanese plan in World War II with Yamato, was build something that could take on more than one enemy battleship. The problem is that, A, we had way more than two, <laughs> to throw at it, even after Pearl Harbor, and B, battleships didn't actually matter that much anymore. But yeah, basically, yeah, I mean, it was also the US plan with the super frigates like Constitution, was to build a super ship that could outmatch anything that it couldn't outrun which Constitution broadly succeeded at. All right, the range is definitely closing on this thing.
We're not really getting hits, though. Man, Brooklyn has been in combat for, like, almost nine hours at this point. This is a very long piecemeal battle. Hey, we have backup, finally. That's nice. They're still too far to actually control directly, but at least they caught up with us. Maybe they can catch up with the destroyer, too. And there's another destroyer, probably. Well, we've identified her as a light cruiser, but I don't I'm not sure I actually believe it. Probably not. But could be. If it is a light cruiser, then we'll have gotten most of Germany's light cruisers in this battle. At least the ones in this theater. But she's probably going to make it to the base before we can slow her down enough for it to matter. Yeah. Oh well. Out of range. They made it. It disappeared. That's that land target again. I guess we could focus on trying to silence it with our tenors, but yeah, there was quite a craze of privateering back then. You could really strike it rich. Probably not quite as lucrative as the 17th century in the Caribbean, but pretty darn good. All right. So we only sank one light cruiser, and two destroyers, but we did at least do that. And one took a little bit of damage. Um, All right, so that was a highly successful month of the war. 
so I probably should stop there. Uh, let's just end the turn. Oh no, if I end the turn, it'll give me another battle. So let's stop there. Uh, gotta pause something again. All right. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll catch you all later. Bye bye.